In this lesson, we will create a new React Native application and then go through the process of running it on an iOS simulator as well as an Android emulator. So let's go. An advanced version of creating a new React Native project which gives you complete ownership of your iOS as well as your Android app is to use the React Native CLI. To execute that, we run npx react native and then to create a new project, we pass in the command init. We will give the project the name demo react native. And then in order to ensure a long-term maintainability of our code base, we are going to be using TypeScript, which we pass in with the command line flag, minus minus template react native template TypeScript. This will download and start executing the template. And once it is completely installed, give us some nice instructions for next steps. Feel free to read through the next instructions, but you don't have to because we will cover them in this lesson. The first step, of course, is to CD into this new project directory that just got created. Now let's pause for a second and take a deep look into Android emulators as this will greatly help you debug any issues in case they arise. The Android Studio which we installed in a previous lesson comes with what are known as Android Virtual Devices or AVDs. You can list the AVDs that you have installed by running the command emulator passing in the flag minus list minus AVDs. Here you can see that we have one Android Virtual Device of a Google Pixel phone. You can launch a particular Android virtual device by using emulator space minus AVD, passing in the ID of the virtual device. This will launch the virtual device in the emulator and here you can see we have the Google Pixel phone running locally in the Android emulator. When you have an emulator running or an Android phone connected to your computer, you can use them to debug your Android applications. Each device that is available for debugging is assigned a unique ID and you can see these devices listed using the Android debug bridge by running adb space devices. And we will be able to run our application on this device by using this device ID. To run our React Native application on Android from the project folder, we execute the command npx react native run Android and then we use the minus minus device ID flag to provide the device ID where we want this particular Android app to run. This will actually build a development version of our app and deploy it to the device, which in our case is the Android emulator. Now you might notice this thing called Metro that is running in the background. And this is what will essentially be live building and live reloading our app while we do the software development. If you are familiar with web development, you can think of it as the React Native version of a Webpack or Snowpack or Veet or Rollup or Parcel or any other JavaScript bundler. While we are doing development, we will leave Metro running in the background and feel free to play around with this application running in the Android emulator. Whenever you are done, you can close the emulator as well as shut down Metro. Now that might have felt like a lot of work and I don't disagree with you, but fortunately you don't have to do it every single time. Once you've run it in a particular device, you can pretty much run npx react native run Android and it will automatically restart that emulator for you and deploy your app to it and additionally, thanks to live reloading, we will actually not need to restart the emulator while we are actively working on our app. Now let's take a look at how you can run your application on the Apple platform using the iOS simulator. You can find the list of simulators that are present on your machine as a part of your Xcode installation by running the command xc run, that is Xcode run, followed by simulator control or simctl, list devices. You might have a favorite device that you want to see your app running in and you can use any of these iOS devices but just as an example for this demo let's go with iPhone 13 Pro. Similar to how we ran our application on an Android device we can execute npx react native run iOS for an iOS device and for iOS we will use the command line flag minus minus simulator to pass in the name of the simulator that we want to test in which we copied from the previous step as iPhone 13 Pro. Just like Android, it will build and deploy our development application to the device and then start Metro to kick off the live rebuilding and reloading of our application while we do our development. And once Metro is done with the initial bundling, you can see that our application looks very similar to what it did on the Android device. Feel free to play around with this app within the iOS simulator and once we are done, we can exit the simulator as well as exiting Metro. Now that we understand how to run our application on iOS as well as Android, in the next lesson, we will take a deeper look inside the project template, specifically the component that we are currently seeing on screen. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.